Today on the channel, we take it to the streets with the NECA Cartoon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle line with Grunt and Jersey Red. The spirit of the warrior will run forever! Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another NECA Cartoon Ninja Turtle unboxing and review. And today, we're taking it to the streets with some street toughs in Grunt and Jersey Red. But for all your NECA needs and a whole lot more, make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10% on all in-stock items. Anything over $59 does ship free, but of course... These are Target exclusives, being the cartoon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures, and they are a part of this year's 2023 Holothon. And a bit of a deep cut here, but one that's de definitely welcome from my, uh, where I sit, I guess I'll say, as you guys know, right here at this table. As I love these Street Tough characters, they always remind me of Death Wish. Oh, you ever watch Death Wish? Like, what is it, Death Wish 3? I always go back to that one clip in Death Wish 3 that I love. Yeah, that one. Paul Kersey gets out the rocket launcher, blows the guy away. Oh, man, Death Wish. Uh, some cinematic excellence, of course. Take it from a guy that's a class away from a minor in film. Death Wish all day long, all day long. But I love these street tough characters. And a little bit of a team that we're forming here. We're going to do another unboxing of another guy's. And I will post pictures on social media and probably some of these reviews of the entire team put together. And there's a little twist with these as well as we do know. But we're going to do this unboxing and review like we do all the other ones here on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. So without further ado, let's look at the old packaging here. Old Grunt in Jersey Red. Grunt looking like something out of Mad Max or Road Warrior. Jersey Red looking like something out of the old Corral Buffet is what she reminds me of there. Uh, definitely an interesting team here, but a little bit of two-in-one action here with Grunt as he can turn into the Lizard as we've seen it with Scrag in the past and of course Bebop Rocksteady. Some of these mutants uh, have their human counterparts and then their animal counterparts, mutant counterparts, and we've got a lot of those. And as part of the Double Up Club, I had to buy two packs of these. We'll talk about that when we get them out of the pack a little bit. But very cool. Unfortunately, it seems Jersey Red doesn't have a, a mutant idea or something. She didn't turn into a mutant. I don't really remember the character at all. But apparently she wasn't a mutant in the series. But it would have been nice to see what she could have turned into. Who knows? Who knows? But uh, we'll see. But we're going to, of course, get these out of the package and, and break it all down as we usually do. Get the cartoon graphics of the two here. Got the Turtles logo, Nickelodeon, their names. You got the yellow and green Oakland A's colors, of course, as we do know. We got Grunt on one side. Jersey Red holding the fort down at the Old Country Buffet on this side. And then, of course, the back of the package, a little glamour shot there. And there he is, transformed into his mutant. Very creepy, very nightmare fuel, of course. Cross-sell down below. Who are we promoting down here? Oh, the Mighty Hog and the Rhino Man. Rex 1, and then Short Gangster and Tall Thug. We'll be unboxing that one on the channel. We're unboxing them all on the channel. If I'm not mistaken, we might have unboxed every single Cartoon Ninja Turtle figure ever on the channel. I could be wrong on that, though. Who knows? Uh, but it's, it's worth looking into, I guess we'll call it that. Uh, but nothing back here. But uh, Jersey Red and Grunt, we're going to get around the package. We're going to see what all the fuss is about. And I don't know if there's a lot of fuss on these ones. Uh, pretty deep cuts, of course. Background, we're used to. We've seen that before. Off to the side. See you later. Uh, we've seen a lot of uh, crazier characters, zanier characters, deep cuts uh, at Target from the Turtle line here. And they're not for everybody. They're not for everybody. We do know that. But there they are in the plastic prison here. I'm going to take it offline, get the old scissors out, get all these clip ties out. And we'll be back talking all things Grunt and Jersey Red. All right, we got Jersey Red and Grunt out of the package, and let's kick it off. Let's start with ladies first. Let's break down these extra hands for old Jersey Red. Quite the name. She must be from New Jersey. She's got red hair. Just a natural fit, I guess. I don't know. They call me Iowa Kyle from time to time. Now, actually, they call me Bread Jesus. That's my nickname in the old quarters of the state. Oh, Bread Jesus is making the rounds once again. And yeah, I get it. I get it. That's okay. There's there's worse people to be compared to. Let's be honest. That's pretty high praise if they're going to compare me to Jesus. So uh, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. But Jersey Red hanging in tight. We do get some extra hands with her. It looks like we get two gripping hands. Three gripping hands? 
Uh, we might have a mix-up in hands, or maybe there's some interchangeability between these hands, but we got two mangled hands. We got one big open hand. That's going to hold uh, that paint. That'll be for that. And then we do got one big old uh, holding hand as well. So choose your own hand adventure here with old Jersey Red. Then we do get the paint can out. Uh, that's what I was talking about. She can do some spray painting if she needs to. The graffiti. Oh, the street toughs. They love that graffiti. Uh, very cool. There's a huge mile-long bridge in my neck of the woods. And some blessed individual, somebody did some graffiti on that. One of the big pillars out there has a huge Ultimate Warrior logo on there. And a lot of people think I did it, but I had nothing to do with it. But I, I fully support it. I fully support it out there. Looking really nice. Uh, we do get that can there. Just white. It's a plain Jane spray can. And then we get a very futuristic weapon as well. So something straight out of the future here. Oh, the future. It is here now, just like Dippin' Dots. But uh, you got the red on there. You got the gray here white nice cartoon lines on it but a very futuristic looking weapon of course now we got jersey red and she's large and she's in charge she's an interesting one looking very interesting here articulation her arms gonna go around very tight these are we know about the NECA figures you should probably heat them up with a hair dryer just a little bit just a smidge uh because boy she's got some tight articulation but her arms will go all the way around we do got single jointed at the elbow here back and forth side to side hands going to be removable as we do know head back and forth side to side as well we got waist articulation uh, and then we got hula hoop articulation as well the old double articulation and then we got uh, the thigh there the big old splits going on single jointed knees and then back and forth on her boots there she's a very forward uh, leaning fashionista right here she's got the belly going out the belly shirt going there just a real tough chick she's one you're not going to want to meet on a back alley uh definitely looks mean and tough she is a little short in stature though that's that's one thing she's got going there but interesting she doesn't turn into a mutant where the other ones do maybe she just didn't get the lucky straw maybe i missed something along the way maybe she is a mutant i just don't realize it who knows uh, but she's got the big old red hair obviously jersey red's her name big hair is her game she's got earrings all over the place in her ears big red lipstick and a little bit of a confused face on her as well she's got the big old top going on once again large and in charge up there uh very very uh big on the chest area we'll say how about that and then uh, we do got these spikes here on the side of her shirt looking good if you're a street thug a street tough man you better have some spikes on your denim and jacket uh and i recommend denim and leather because it brought us all together but it was you that set the spirit free as we all do know she's got her black wrist uh, gauntlets on there very nice very cool i love that very heavy metal look there for old uh, jersey red here she's got the nice blue jeans she's got those things really tight she might need another size up uh, by the way of things got the handkerchief out of the back beautiful cowboy boots down here love that look there all around an interesting looking figure one of those figures that really makes you like whoa what is that what is going there very small but very striking at the end of the day and she does got peg holes will she fit on a ringside stand that's the million dollar question oh what do you know she fits she fits on the old stand there she is the female member of the big old street tough gang and she's looking good she's looking large she's looking in charge so how about that so there's old jersey red now we turn our attention over to grunt grunt's an interesting one looks like he walked out of the road warrior mad max uh something along those lines a very interesting look on him but he does also come with hands we got a trigger hand we got a gripping hand we got another gripping hand and we got another gripping hand so i feel like uh some of my hands got mixed up here between the two i don't know but uh choose your own hand adventure at the end of the day and then he does come with a sword. So I guess he can have the sword. He can have the gun. You can kind of choose your own weapon adventure a little bit. But he does have this nice sword here. No holster, no sheath or anything like that. Uh, but that's the way those street toughs do it. They're not as official as a samurai, we'll call it. But then we get Grunt out of the package here. And like I said, he looks like something out of Mad Max, the Road Warrior. Looking just really, really tough. Very interesting outfit on this guy, too. I mean, it's an interesting thing. You wake up, you get dressed, you put your pants on. He's got his nice black pants on. He says, I'm going to slide these knee pads on. I'm going to slide those on. Now I'm going to put my black boots on. I'm going to put my wrist garb on there, the nice wrist. And then, you know what? I'm going with my He-Man vest today. That's what I'm going to wear. I'm going to wear that. No shirt underneath. Uh, that's how I'm going to go meet the day. That's how I'm going to go to work today. So very interesting on him. He's got very interesting kind of new wave punk sunglasses or I guess glasses. I don't know. Maybe they're, they're prescription sunglasses. Let's call it that. He's got those going on. And then, of course, you can't be a street tough in the 80s, early 90s without a mohawk. That is mandatory. You have to have that. 
bright yellow mohawk on him. And he also works out. He does a lot of sit-ups on the sides. He's got nice ab definition here. You got the color lining throughout the body, making it feel very animated style. And then, of course, he had to put on his belt with all the pockets. You never know. You got to store stuff in those pockets. Who knows what's in there? But he does have two fists of fury. He's ready to throw down at a moment's notice. He does look really, really good. But does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? That's always the million-dollar question as well. Oh, no, I don't think he is. I think these boots are going to fight. Oh, nope. Oh, nope. Take that back. He does. One boot fit. The other one did not. Who knows? That could just be uh, just a luck of the draw there. But of course, articulation, the same as Jersey Red here. Looking really nice. I like what we see here. I like what we have here. I like what this represents. Once again, it reminds me of Death Wish. Reminds me of the Warriors. Something like that. It's just a cool street tough. And I'm here for all the street toughs at the end of the day. But the plot thickens. As we do know, this is a bit of a two-in-one character. As I did buy two sets of these. Unfortunately, I wish Jersey Red changed into something. So uh, I had a buddy that wanted Jersey Red. I said, hey, if you want to split half the pack with me, that'll help me out. So he took the Jersey Red. For whatever reason, strange reason, he didn't want Grunt. But I gave him the Jersey Red, he paid half. I got the other half to get another Grunt. And of course, Grunt comes with his uh, frog-like body. I don't know what you call this thing, but it is him on uh, mutant steroids, I guess. But I got to say, I was pretty hot. Unfortunately, it wasn't on camera. You guys would have loved my misery. But right out of the package, his glasses broke. His glasses broke right out of the package. Absolutely broke my heart. Uh, I'm still shook up about it. It was very shaken up. It's like if you're almost in a plane crash, you know how you feel if you just missed your life dying? That's kind of how I felt when this uh, glasses broke. It was kind of like that same thing, or maybe not at all, but very disappointed on that. But I guess the good side of things is you get two packs, you get two lizard tops. This one practically worthless, but this one unfortunately or fortunately did not break on me. This one stayed good. And you just twist the top off, had to use the hairdryer, got him off put him together, and now we got the mutant version of Grunt here. Very cool, very scary, very nightmare fuel. This looks like something out of like an 80s horror movie, something out of trauma, maybe, things like that. Just very crazy. He's got like a snake body. It almost looks like Cobra Commander from G.I. Joe the movie, where he turned into that snake, kind of like that, but he's got the mohawk still, he's got the glasses still, still has that vest. So he's got some nods to the Grunt, so you can tell, oh, here's the transformation. Here's what he was, and here's what he turned into. I really like that idea. I think this is really cool, and it's tough. This pack being, you know, $60 or whatever, it's tough getting the hardcore fans, oh, I got to buy two of these, and that's what I have to do because I'm going to build this team out regular version and mutant version, and that's what I'm going to do. Jersey Red, of course, going to be only on the human side for whatever reason. Very strange, but very, very cool here. We will build out the team. I will have some glamour shots of all of them, uh, but I really do like this one. Jersey Red's pretty cool for what she is. I love the looks of him and Nightmare Fuel of the Serpent here for Grunt. So very, very cool set here. Some quality issues. Like I said, the glasses broke right out of the package. I didn't even touch them. I just opened it up and there it just crumbled right there on my table. So very disappointing on that. Luckily, I guess this one did work out for me, but you shouldn't have broken toys out of the pack. We all know that. We all hate that. It's the bane of our existence. We are so worked up to this day, but it's the way it goes sometimes. The way the old cookie crumbles, as one may say, as well. But there's Grunt. There's Jersey Red. What's your guys' thoughts? You picking this two-pack up? You going one step further like me getting two of this two-pack? Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. We got videos every single day, and then some. Yes, and then some. And we got even more content for you over on the old Patreon channel. Use the link in the description below. Check that one out. Check out all the videos. Uh, you got early access to videos over there. And best of all, you do support the channel and all the content. You can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media. Sir Paul 64 is where you find me on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for Grunt and Jersey Red, I'm Brad Jesus. And I'll see you guys all real soon.